Hi there. So in this video, I want to explain how this machine, my homemade panel saw, is built and how it works. First of all, the cutting action is done by a handheld circular saw, a Bosch brand, GKS190 or something. Uh, everything else is mostly made out of wood because it has just to hold the panel in place. Only these guide rays for the carriage are made out of steel pipe. I have a roller set up here to put my stock in and feed it through. Uh, the carriage itself is counterbalanced by a counterweight which is uh, hidden inside this plastic pipe here. Uh, the carriage weighs about 25 kilos so the counterweight at the back here has to counteract this weight. The machine can be uh, operated either by hand or automatically, which is done by a microcontroller. The function itself is probably, uh, you can say, self-explaining and very easy. So you put your panel on the rollers or on the machine bed slide it in place, you choose your measurement here, let's say 70 centimeters, lock the stop lock, push your stock against it, clamp the stock in place so it doesn't move anymore and press start or cut by hand whatever is necessary. I grabbed the ladder and now I can show you the secrets of the automation mechanism which is <laughs> just a winch made out of a steel winch pulley and um, windshield wiper motor. Here we have two pulleys, they have bearings inside, one is for the um, steel cable for the counterweight and one is for the power cord for the saw itself and there is one more steel cable which lifts the counterweight up means um, the carriage itself will go down by its own weight so by about 25 kilos or so. As you see here how I solved the problem to uh, adjust the play so it does not have play. This part is made of wood completely. It's uh, out of plywood. Three centimeters of plywood and I cut a ring shape and put three rollers inside and M M6, M6 bolt to close the ring till all the play is gone. That's done for all four corners. I have here two brakes where I can lock the carriage on every place I want. And yeah, you hear it clicking. Here is one of the end switches. Just a micro switch, ordinary micro switch. I have two of them. One at the top. And one at the bottom. So the microcontroller knows when to stop and what to do next. Ok, 
Okay, that's what it looks like. So, the way how the automatic operation works is you press start on the dashboard here and the machine starts after two seconds the um, carriage, the saw, uh, will go down and cut uh, the feed rate you can adjust here on this potentiometer uh, which can also be bridged for fast forward and as the carriage comes down to its end stop here the motor will shut off wait for two seconds and the carriage will go back to its starting point <coughs> I can show you this uh, I have a main switch here Okay. now I press start I have to press and hold it for two se seconds this is also a safety feature you can say Turn off the machine, wait for two seconds and go back on its own. So you actually don't have to stay nearby the business. You can step back and watch the machine doing its job. Okay, when it comes to uh, dust extraction, I have two dust extraction points or ports on this machine. One is this hose, which goes directly to the blade and um, some dust, of course, will fall down to the floor. This dust is collected here at the bottom of the machine. There is another pipe at the back here, where the dust goes up and they meet here and go to the uh, dust extractor. One thing, this machine has its own stand, so it's freestanding. I can put this machine anywhere I want, but for safety reasons, I bolted it to the building with angle brackets here and over there. So if somebody, most of the time me, is climbing onto this machine for repairing and cleaning and whatever uh, the machine does not tip over and fall on me. The machine also has uh, two extension wings which can be removed or I have hinges here can fold it back if needed but honestly I never needed this feature it's just a gimmick very important for such mas machines is the leveling you have to level this machine so um, the roller bed is absolutely straight the machine is of course triangulated everywhere and everything is permanently glued and screwed in place but it can uh, maybe sag down for this reason I have at the floor a few of these bolts to level the machine exactly to the floor so it does not sag down or is in any in any case warped or whatever this is very important to cut straight and square all the time this machine is capable to cut 
roughly 150 centimeters one and a half meters uh, here in length so if your piece is longer than that which sometimes happens you have to uh, feed it through by hand on the rollers therefore the machine head itself can be turned by 90 degrees like this and here I have a ruler where I can set my measurements then I lock the carriage in place so it doesn't move anymore I have two locks here and then I simply feed my stock through by hand on the rollers very easy to do so I can yeah I can cut endless long materials if I want to yeah so I can make rip cuts and cross cuts with this machine okay I'm sure some of you are interested in the electronics of the machine so in the brain of the machine let's let's call it the brain uh, first of all I've pulled the plug so all your safety trolls there is no choose on any part here inside now uh, the brain of this machine is in this case um, microcontroller uh, Arduino Nano uh, which turns on uh, the relay for the saw itself as well as uh, the winch motor up or down <laughs> and also generates the PWM signal uh, for the feed rate which can adjust adjust it here on this pot potentiometer at the front for the feed rate uh, here is the power supply for the uh, windshield wiper motor and um, the Arduino itself Underneath this uh, heatsink, there are two MOSFETs, uh, power MOSFETs for the uh, PWM controlling. I had to wind my own noise reduction coils uh, because yeah, the motor brings so much noise inside the electric system, so I have to take care of that with this capacitors and uh, coils you see here okay nothing fancy yeah what I like to do or most of the time for project like this um, I, I put the um, diagram and the, um, the code for the microcontroller here inside the box if something goes wrong and I have to repair something or I lost the code on my computer I have it here printed <coughs> okay here comes the um, 12 volt in um, okay here are connected the end switches, potentiometer, um, fuse for the motor, 230 volt in, 230 volt out, and so on and so forth. So everything is connected here and it's easily easy accessible for measuring and whatever okay I will put the code and the um, 
circuit diagram in the description of the video if you are interested to build a machine like that for ever reason for whatever reason or maybe you need um, the code or the circuit diagram for something similar okay so here is the diagram for the complete circuit board and the electronics of the machine <laughs> as you see it's a it's a big mess i hope you i hope you get the clue yeah it's written in german you have to apologize for that uh, what's going on here i have a uh, arduino nano uh, PWM out and uh, the inputs for the um, end stops and switches relay H bridge for the motor yeah I zoom in a little bit so you maybe can s can pause the video this is for the uh, 220 side of things yeah the saw motor and here the winch motor windshield wiper motor 12 volts uh, nothing more to say uh, here are some blocks which prevent the panel from falling out and falling onto my foot. Yeah, nothing more to say. Just a winch lifting up a counterweight. Not that complicated. A very useful machine to have. A real game changer when it comes to production of furniture, cabinets and so on. Uh, in reality I don't need a tape measure or a pencil or any other measuring tool uh, to build cabinets or furniture with this machine because um, the measuring tapes are built in and I can go from there yeah that makes life much easier yeah but I want to mention this machine is only for home gamer use so it is not a professional production machine in any ways so please consider <coughs> I'm just a hobbyist I am yeah, a home gamer, let's say. Nothing is perfect. And I would not rec recommend to uh, put a machine or build a machine like this uh, for a uh, commercial carpentry shop or whatever. Don't do this. You can build it, use it at home, use it for your own projects, use it in your private time. Um, that's that's what it's made for, at least for me. Yeah, I hope this video was interesting for you. I hope uh, I explained everything you want to know about this machine. If not, let me know in the comments. I have a um, project upcoming. I will post it uh, next week, something like that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it will be a small project, but yeah, interesting, maybe. Okay, that's it for now.